And uh, we're away now in event uh, number 64. And this is the uh, um, the Premier Mixed Small at Small Boats, 10 paddlers. And uh, we've got uh, the first boat away, which is the CYSM. And uh, 12 seconds later, we've got uh, the next boat, uh, CYSM's number one. Number two, Yarra River Dragons. And uh, with 12 second intervals, we've got number four um, away. And that is the DSA. Uh, next away will be number five. And uh, they've been released. That's Aka Snacker. And uh, then number six, which is Beechworth. They've uh, been released. Then uh, Tawaka is away. Number seven, Tawaka. Number eight, Power Blades. They're away. Number nine, Black Sea Dragons. They've been released. They've got some big chasing to do now, these uh, back boats. They're supposedly, they're the fastest. This just always starts slowest to fastest. And uh, our next one is number 10, which is Melbourne Flames. And, uh, number 11 is uh, Sydney Tsunami. And uh, that's the last of the boats to be released. And uh, we've already got uh, all the boats on the course. And uh, just uh, moving up there uh, towards the top corner, we've uh, got uh, all the boats uh, travelling in line astern. And uh, at this stage, none of them look like they're in a position to make any moves before they get to the uh, first turn at the 500 metre mark. But uh, they'll be... Uh, all sort of working in their heads, what do we do next? But uh, those boats that uh, the last ones released, including uh, Black Sea Dragons, Melbourne Flames, Power Blades, they'll be uh, trying to uh, really build up as fast as they can to overtake because they're the fast boats and uh, the best opportunity is uh, to make up ground is now and then hope that their sweeps are able to negotiate the corner the first time far better than the slower boats in front and then they'll do the run down the uh, outside to start uh, overtaking and uh, it all becomes interesting. Now is there, is there a passing manoeuvre just happening right now at the top there? Is there? Hey, that's it. It, um, maybe just the boats hopping behind and taking the safety route. Just can't pick out the number unfortunately. Uh, that would have to be, uh, if it's number two, it would be Yarra River Dragons. Um, I'm just looking at trying to see what the... Uh, uh, the, um, the Yes, unfortunately the sun is uh, playing uh, havoc with hard. us at this time of the day. Over in, uh, Here we are in Perth. Um, we're at uh, six minutes to five. And the uh, sun up the top corner there... It glistens on our numbers, and um, we just can't quite pick out the numbers. But just everyone seems to be in single file. But I just had a feeling that there was some movement there. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, but up the other end, there's there's certainly single file in the the last three or four boats. Yes, as they've come around the corner, they're um, they're all still uh, they're closing up and uh, taking. Uh, positions on there so they can overtake but uh, there's no one close enough there yet or well, uh, maybe, five, maybe and five and six yeah three, five and, five and six. three and four four and yeah three, yeah. Yeah. yeah as i say i, I thought there was might have been a taking overtaking move on the far yes, side yes. but i'm not 100 percent sure it does look as though there's a overtaking maneuver there a roundabout boat one Oh, well, yeah. Six and seven. Six and seven. Yeah, the screen's showing a couple of opportunities there too as they come down. Look at that. 
But there's certainly the, the first crew through. It looks like the CYSM crew. Uh, here we go. We have got a, a manoeuvre overtaking. So one, two, uh, three, and, three and four. Three and four, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. um, yep, here and we now, go. now five is trying to get in, uh, join in as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a... You can see three sweeps, <laughs> three, yeah. three drummers all sitting high. <laughs> so coming down towards you, Daryl, you can see number one boat. And then the next boat is number four boat. Yeah, that's interesting. That is DSA again making a, yeah. a, a statement. So they uh, must have got past... Uh, two, two boats. Yeah. Uh, sorry, one no, boat. One boat, because yes, yes, yes. we have a scratching, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The next boat is number five. The next boat is number two, and then number six. Now, six has the right of way over two, um, because they've caught them already. Ooh. And looking back, seven and eight are having a tussle. And yeah, well, six yeah. is uh, six is coming inside in the uh, around the boys here. They're well and truly past uh, their uh, their first victim, which would be uh, number six. So number four. Oh, they're over number six. They didn't. Uh, oh. Oh, careful, yeah. careful, 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 careful. Yep, yes, yep, yep. yep. So that, uh, unfortunately, um, you know, just uh, taking a, a wrong manoeuvre. Yeah, and uh, so boat seven is going right round the outside and, and boat eight. Now this is going to be interesting for yes, the uh, yes. the uh, chief official because boat eight missed a boy. Yep. Uh, whereas boat nine has taken that boy. So, um, yes. Yeah, that's a bit difficult because uh, by not uh, by moving on the inside like that, uh, there was a danger that uh, the boat could go. Yeah, and there's people in the water, although they're all uh, all, they're safe. all safely, uh, and they're actually off the course already. Yep. yep. Um, so, but uh, we, well, the next one that when time we come down will be into the finish line anyway. Um, so, if they can keep that boat floating towards the uh, down down away from the finish line that'll be really really good yeah so uh, the last boat here will be I'm pretty sure is 11 we've got some maneuvers yes. happening here over on the other side going up we've got uh, I can't see the numbers but uh, uh, we've got some overtaking I think we've got two boats well, so, well DSA have now overtaken CYSM right up the front so that's uh, put uh, DSA into a good position then oh, well. there's a boat either side there look yeah, that's this. right there's three boats <laughs> there um, so the boat on the inside will have the right of way and the boat in the middle will ha uh, also has right of way over the boat on the, the outside, outside. Yep. yeah now that's going to be an interesting scenario with the all right, or the boat in the middle is actually backed off. Yeah, well, that's, uh, uh, that's so, kind of him. He didn't have to, but he did uh, yeah, because yeah. it was the right thing to do. Uh, yeah, he was he was going to get uh, get uh, squeezed there, uh, and of course now he's under pressure now for the boat behind. That's going to to go up beside them because of the fact they did take the pressure off. So yeah, it's uh, it's one of these sports whereby it does happen that we have a capsize, not terribly often. And uh, I do say that uh, our safety boats are doing the right thing by our paddlers. And uh, yeah, they, just one of the worries, of course, that's near the finish line. And, yes, uh, yeah. And I, th uh, I thought the safety boat might move them down yeah, a wee bit further it, uh, uh, because of the fact that uh, I think the safety boat should be moving up to around about the 50 metre mark to tell the boats that there is a capsize. Yep. Uh, on the finish line, or just past the finish line. On the inside, so yeah. that uh, people don't start using lanes uh, two and three to... Uh, yeah. To anyway, that's it. up to the, the, the chief the, water umpire. Yep. And they've obviously got it on, under control. Yeah. At, uh, uh, the boat the boat by itself there, that's... Uh, is that CYSM? Is no, it? no, that's Sydney Tsunami right oh, down right the back right here. Right um, right. They were the last away, and uh, they haven't moved from where they were. 
Um, but this crew coming down towards us is the DSA crew. And as I said to you, they, they did start in number four position. Um, I can't pick up the numbers behind. Um, no, just can't get them. There's a couple of boats right up near the, uh, yeah, the, so there's a, there's the that, end of that, uh, that turn. Yep, so the, there's a boat that's taken the inside line and this is what i'm starting to worry about on the finish line yes, now yes that's right um because they've taken they've, they've gone inside the um course and our boat i oh know our boat's now coming out of the side of the course so that's very very good the water umpire is making sure they're pushing the boat away yeah. from the course yep. so um well done umpire and well done paddlers in the in the water yep but they're they're working to move it across too yeah yeah, everyone's working. So um, and I think they're guiding the boats in the in field to uh, allow them to make sure they're clear. Yeah, we do like to be safe in this sport. It's uh, it's a water sport, as I say, but it has all its uh, the issues of um, something ha happening, and we don't want that to happen when a boat goes over. Absolutely. You've got the added danger of water. It's not like racing cars where if you have a crash you can still be breathing, but if you have a capsize you've got to get yourself up out of the water. So the first crew home will be the DSA crew. Oh, look, they're still sprinting. Yes. Yeah, here we are, <laughs> 25 metres from home and they're still sprinting. Yeah. The next crew home will be boat one. Yes, they're... Uh, and they got overtaken once, eh? That's uh, pretty good. Yeah. And the next boat home will be number five. And then there's two boats really pushing hard down here. The um, one is ten and the other is eight. So they're pushing each other, those two boats. Yes. Ten yes. and eight. One and six have just crossed the line. No, one and five. Yeah. And then back to 